What is going on guys? It's Brandon, it's Toaster Tuesday. Thanks so much for stopping by. And this is our fourth XB video in a row. And this, this video, it's gonna shock some people. It's gonna shock some people, but I had to make it. And today, the XB is for sale. So that's right guys, you heard right. The XB is for sale. And I know a lot of you, it's breaking a lot of your hearts. For a lot of you are hitting that unsubscribe button right now. But man, it's, it's not a sad thing. And please, please don't be upset. And please don't put in the comments how much you're gonna miss it and all that kind of stuff. I know I'm gonna miss it, all right? I know I'm gonna miss it. But like every car I've ever had in my life, there comes a time where it's, it's, it's kind of done and time to move on. And for now, for me, this car is finished and it's time to move on. So, yeah, man, this it's for sale. It's for sale. If you guys are interested, here's my email address. All right, extremedailydrivers at gmail.com. Go ahead, shoot me an email if you're interested in purchasing it. The purchase price is $7,500. All right, I think it's a fair price for this car. Um, I don't think I'm asking a ridiculous amount for what's been done to it to and also for the shape that it's in and it's a great car as you guys know I mean you've seen the videos and if you haven't seen the videos go down in the description box I have a list to the Cyan XB playlist where there are 50 or 60 videos on this car and to me that's one of the most amazing things about this car if you guys decide to purchase this vehicle you are getting an incredible history along with it. You're getting 60 plus videos of not only what was done to the car, but when it was done. Man, I wish every car I would ever buy would have that kind of awesome freaking history that went along with it. It comes with everything you see. I'm not gonna be parting it out for anything. You're getting the whole package. So we'll go through it super quick. What's actually in this car, what's going on with it. Um, I haven't run right now, it's just idling. You guys can hear it a little bit. Listen to that. <laughs> Things sound sick, man. All right, so let's talk about the front of the vehicle real quick. You guys know I replaced the windshield about a year ago. It does have the crack in it. However, it is not in your sight line. It's not even really even noticeable on the exterior of the car. And to me, it's totally livable. And if you're gonna have an XB, you're gonna have a crack in your windshield. It's just the way it is. Now the windshield has been fully tinted at 50% and also has this cool visor going across here with the TEQ, which of course means Toyota in Japanese, and uh, that's on there. So we got good wipers on here. Wipers are in good shape, don't need anything there. Hood's in good shape. It does have a few rock chips along the front here, but they're really not noticeable. I touched them up a while ago. It's really not bad. Keep in mind this car is dirty. It's really hard this time of year to keep a clean car in Florida because it rains every single day. So we got our tinted headlights, did a video on that. We have our OEM grill that I painted black, I did a video on that. We have our BB emblem here, I did a video on that. <laughs> and we have our front face finisher, custom. All right, I've had that since I've had the car. It's been on there for six years. The thing is awesome and really hard to find. So you guys know I did the fog lights. All right, installed those. I did a video on that. We have hid headlights and fog lights, and they are the 6,000 color tone, okay? I had the whole front bumper repainted. That was also in a video. Moving on to the wheels tire suspension. You guys know I have CX Racing coilovers, fully adjustable. The brake pads and rotors have recently been replaced in the front, along with stainless steel brake lines. <clears throat> These are 15 by 7 Koenig Decagram wheels. I did a video on them. Wrapped in 205 5015 Nitto Neogens. Um, these tires probably still have another 15,000 miles on them. They're still in really good shape. I got the custom kind of old school throwback Toyota vinyl um, decal down there at the bottom thanks to the guys at AMG Graphics. I have these awesome, awesome mirrors. They work. They're motorized. Match painted to the car. Got the the visors here 
pretty typical you find these uh anywhere but yeah got them on there i really like those they, they make a big difference when you're driving with the windows down you got the led tail lights i got an led license plate light did a video on that we got an awesome backup camera you guys know i did a video on that such an awesome install man that thing is so clean rear wiper delete and we have this totally awesome rear duckbill wing that i got from russia i did a video on it if you guys remember custom painted white with custom paint black on the back and our awesome custom rear bumper so it's a stock rear bumper with a honda civic um, rear lip kind of french or however you want to call it installed my boy randy over at Surat performance garage did such a good job on that we have an axle back exhaust from dme and let's see what else what else am i forgetting here oh what about the roof rack we have an inno roof rack with a reese basket up here totally cool love the way this thing looks this is totally removable these are locking you'll be getting the keys with these so you can take this off if you want if you want to sell it or if you want to put it on an suv you're more than welcome to um, but it's a really cool add-on you can you can put your christmas tree up here like i did last winter and <laughs> strap it down to this guy all or sort all sorts of stuff put an extra wheel and tire up there whatever you want what else oh i should talk about the rear brakes so as you guys know did the rear brakes um went ahead and put new drums on and custom painted them so they had that silver ring around them these are kind of the little ghost look of a uh four-wheel disc package all right so back here we got our eight inch bazooka tube powered by a amplifier underneath here all wires are hidden everything's accessible everything works um, i will be putting on the caps on the back here of the suspension so you don't have to look at that but everything here is stock everybody keeps asking about these headrests these are tc headrests from a uh, scion tc they're awesome because when you're looking in the rearview mirror you you don't there's nothing obstructing your view so really nice add on there you guys know i've done the speakers back here right we got infinity kappas five and a halfs took that all apart i did a video on that video on sub video on the amp <clears throat> and kill mat right i did kill mat all along up here all in the door panels uh, up front um, anywhere that i could did it back here as well so whole area has been kill matted that's why this door is a little heavier than normal it also has an aftermarket handle back here so it won't break it's been color matched all right let's move on to the interior so you guys know i got the high kitty nine inch screen here thing still works awesome absolutely love it custom installed too man to give you this awesome kind of flush fit i did a video on it <laughs> you're gonna get the skosh had its heads up display with the sweet carrying case I did a video on it um you got the shifter down here awesome shift knob weighs over a pound really cool bride shift boot custom painted bezel around here things awesome no complaints got the custom painted bezel around here as well move my cell phone so you get a better look of it the steering wheel you guys know all about the steering wheel did a video on this totally awesome toyota it's like the original bb look everything works great i have the upgraded wiper arm right here has more intermittent than the uh, oem one did a video on this too so awesome little add-on let's see what else oh of course we got speakers right we got our we got our upgraded um four inch speakers here in the dash and we got our infinities here in the door and these are the real badass ones i forget the name of them right now not the um yeah these are the kappas these are the kappas yeah the ones in the back are the reference but yeah these are the kappas sound is incredible you can't beat it uh, what else is going on in here? Oh, I got little green lights down here. I don't know if I ever showed you guys that. Did that when I first got the car. Nice little green lights down here to highlight um, whatever you're drinking. Got my Planet Audio subwoofer adjustment knob installed there. Nice clean install. This car does have with the cruise control stock. I will give you cruise control if you want it. Um, comes with the car, so I'll give it to you. I'm not installing it, but I'll give you everything you need to have this thing working. You're also going to get this Broadway mirror. Super nice. And how could I forget about this guy? One of my first XB videos that I did holds your sunglasses up here as well as some working lights. Check that out. That's from a Honda Odyssey. Put that in, did a video on it. Make sure you check it out. And now let's look under the hood. All right, guys, so here we are under the hood. You know, I got the custom paint going, right? So this is in Hotchkiss Racing strut bar, all right? Painted my valve cover, aftermarket oil cap um the custom intake you guys know all about this did a video on it battery's only a year old the big three upgrade that's all this wiring you see here if you guys remember i did a video on that it really helps with the power usage 
the brake fluid has been drained and filled. It sounds fantastic. Give it a little, you hear that intake, right? Sounds totally awesome, man. This thing runs like a top. I would drive this to California tomorrow. Also, I should mention, it does have a header on it. it has a DME racing header on it. It's back there, it's really hard to see, but I also wrapped it and I did a video on that. So make sure you check that out. I should point out in here, there are no check engine lights on. This car never has a check engine light on. Ever since I changed the O2 sensor, I did a video on that. I changed the O2 sensor out less than a year ago. So make sure you check that video out. But yeah, everything that's basically can be done in this car has been done. So that about sums it up, guys. I would love for a subscriber to buy this car. I think it would be so awesome to kind of keep the legacy going. If you're a fan of this channel, if you're a fan of this build that I've been working on for quite some time, I would love to pass this car on to you so you, you can take care of it so I know it's going to a good home. And it's a great car. For 7,500 bucks, I don't think you're gonna find anything that's gonna look this good and be this reliable. And did I even mention how good on gas it is? It's, you know, over 300 miles per tank. It costs $20 to fill up. I mean, it's, it's just a brilliant car for gas. If you're a student, if you got a kid at home who's just getting their license, if you got a grandkid who's just getting their license, it's a perfect first car for somebody. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. It's time to turn the page on the XB. It's time to pass it on to someone who hopefully will take as good care of it as I have. Hit that like button, make sure you subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you think of me selling this. Go ahead and share it, please. If you're on Facebook, please share this in the groups. That really helps get the word out. So yeah, once again, here's my email address, extremedailydrivers at gmail.com. So if you're interested in getting probably, I'd have to say, the most popular XB on YouTube, right? I mean, we could say that. I don't know a more popular XB on YouTube. If you're interested in getting the most popular xb on youtube hit me up email me let me know let me know down in the comments what do you think of me selling this thing thank you to everyone who's watched this channel has really grown because of this build and i don't know that we'll ever even see the same success rate as we have with this build so anyway guys thanks so much for watching we'll, we'll be back next week with more awesome stuff on extreme Delivery drivers until then have a good one i'll talk to you later